want you to just, everybody, just close your eyes and bask in the presence of the Lord, the Holy Spirit within us. Think about all the many things, the requests you want to make known to God, those that is upon our hearts, whether it is yourself, God is spirit. He knows everything before we even utter a word. Let us pray. Lord, we enter into these gates with thanksgiving and praise for your unfailing love, mercy, and grace. You are our refuge and strength, the very help in all times. Many of us have come with burdens, seeking healing. Others have come with joys, celebrating the goodness and the blessings that abound. But each one of us is welcome here. We know that there is much work to be done in this world. Injustice, greed, isolation, alienation, they all exist when we have forgotten to be your people in peace. As we have spoken the names of people who are dear to us on our prayer list and in our hearts, we're seeking prayers for their needs. You are the great physician, you are the healer, you are the provider, you give us sustenance, you are the living water and the quencher of our souls. Let us also remember to be faithfully working for you in all that we do. To seek you before any thoughts, before any words, before any step forward, before any action. Help us give unto you our complete faithfulness, completely trusting in you. Teach us to be good citizens of your kingdom here on earth. It is in the name of the one true and everlasting God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that we all pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Kahabiana in a Mohai Aloha offering invitation today. Psalm 96.3 exhorts us to declare God's glory among the nations, God's marvelous work among all the peoples. Let us glorify God through generous living and faithful use of the resources entrusted to our care. And let us marvel at the Creator's provision by affirming that we have more than enough to share for the benefit and the care of our community, our world, and God's church. Amen? Amen. Our humanity Lulu today again is take my gifts. So we offer them up to God fashion that he would allow us to continue to love him, knowing that he first loved us. 